Hi there. Today's topic is super amazing because it's all about the intention that you have when you are doing something and how relevant is that and how healing and transformative your life can be and how much your life can change once you start to understand your intention behind your actions. And if you have seen other of the videos that are on the channel, I mentioned this from time to time, which is a trigger. Trigger is the event or situation that is eliciting, that is provoking a response in your physiology and in your psychology, that is making you behave in a certain way that you cannot fully understand. Like a trigger, for example, is um, so something that is very clear and unconscious also is uh, if you see a snake, the snake is the trigger and then your response is fear. Okay, so let's put this to make this a bit more clear. The snake is the trigger and the response is the fear. So sometimes something that is a bit easier to understand is um, the, the trigger could be uh, receiving a negative response from a potential client. So let's call this rejection is the trigger and the response for many people is pain, right? Or pain or loneliness or insecurities or many other things. So the rejection, people telling you no, actually no, the no is the trigger because from here you can go to, oh, I'm feeling rejected and then I'm feeling pain and all this, right? So once you start to understand your triggers, there is so much valuable information there of what's going on in my life, in my psyche, that I need to observe this and where it comes from and what is the implications and how can I heal this so then I can control more my life, right? So for me, one trigger was like going to, to well, self-development events, okay? And specifically, now that I'm in Madrid, it's like going to these uh, gurus, like mini gurus type of event. And then I see the guy on the stage and I'm thinking like, fuck, uh, such a bullshit, right? But then that's uh, a clear trigger there, like, okay, I go to an event and I feel this is bullshit, right? And another part of me thinks I could do this better. But that's too cheap, obviously, because if you haven't done it, then what do you know? So... This is a, a, a defense mechanism of myself to not engage as a follower because I want to be a leader, because I want to be on the stage, right? So what is here is very interesting, which is my two big ones, which is uh, rejection and recognition. The other one, the other wound, recognition. But today, something changed. Today I was in an event and I was seeing this guy that I didn't know at all because uh, a friend of mine told me like, hey, let's meet here, I'm gonna be here, let's meet, let's chat, let's connect. And I go to this place and he's like, oh yeah, this guy is very famous, he's a millionaire, blah, blah. And I'm like, I have like zero idea of who this person is. And I have zero interest of knowing who this person is. And I have like zero interest of knowing the story of this. And you can say, this is a different form of uh, defense mechanism, like avoidance of engaging or interacting into knowing that. But it didn't come from that. It came from something that I've been applying more and more, which is my season of no. The no season, right? Which in the no season is basically, is a process of simplification and elimination of things in your life that are not supporting the, the ultimate goal that you want. So, and just to contextualize, I was listening today to this podcast of Tom Bilyeu and uh, co in a conversation with Peter da Damandis, and the guys were speaking about biotechnology, genetic engineering, uh, longevity extension, escape velocity, which is when, well, you know, I mean, if you live 30, 40, 50 years more, science can advance so much that it gives you another 50 years more. And in those extra 50 to 50, 100 years, then science can advance so much that it gives you another 100 years more. And I'm like, this is so incredible. Like this conversation, this topic, these people. For me, the, you know, I, I rather invest more of my time and resources into getting closer of people like the Amandis 
which have all these companies uh, regarding longevity than being here listening to this guy or, or, or even more, you know, because you're like listening to these guys, a bit of this, but it's more like than me becoming a guru. Like, do I want to become a guru and then like uh, be praised and, and be loved for so many people? You know, it was a bit cringe. Okay, so this is a very good shit, a very good word, which is cringe. It was cringy. So then I was like, Carlos, why, 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 why are you allowing all these wounds from the past to, to have like this second direction, like a, a side part of you trying to go to becoming this good or this whatever, when there is a more powerful, truthful part of yourself that when you enter a season of no and you eliminate all these distractions from your life, you realize how powerful could this be a life where I am supporting the longevity of humanity and the longevity with high quality of life. So we come back to plain camp, which is a, a way of keeping yourself healthier for a longer period of time and in a way that you are like more, more mm, healthier and in a way that you are more Enjoy it, enjoy your life, basically, and in a way that your, your brain is evolving as well. So that's the, the role of playing kind of into all this longevity, because at the end of the day, playing is the activity that children do, and those that keep themselves youthful keep on playing. So it's, it's, it's not only longevity, it's, uh, it's been remaining young, basically. You know, in all these years, like we are speaking about lives of 100 years, 150, 200 so remaining young, these 200. So this could be my, my role with the playing camp. And that's a link to this Peter Dramandis, right? And this longevity praise, which are for me much more passionate than all these events of you can do your dreams. It's like, yeah, man, you can do your dreams, but then you have to work a lot. So, you know, you, you eliminate a lot of your limiting beliefs and your limiting stuff to go to these events. You can do whatever you want, fantastic. And then you go to do whatever you want and then you realize that you have to work as as, 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 like, like a decent amount of your time is invested into work so <laughs> so then it's like you know they, they build this dream and then the dream becomes something's a nightmare <laughs> a nightmare right <laughs> so it's, it's like a very it's easy to sell hard to implement <laughs> so like, but it's fun so that's why it's cringe for me because it doesn't feel truthful or real it's like yeah i'm going to tell everything that you want to hear and then the, the truth is like, it's going to be hard. Anyways, <laughs> but I mean, it's my truth, eh? I don't know. Maybe there is someone else on the internet that is telling you that it's going to be very easy and everything is going to come so easily for them. Maybe my experience is like, uh, it needs a process of iteration to the person that you are. And in many occasions, that process of iteration is about eliminating parts of yourself that are not serving you. And, and those parts of yourself are distracting parts of yourself. And, and this is very, it becomes a bit paradoxical now, you know, because play is a, an expansive energy of discovery in many directions, while work or focus is, is the opposite. You know, when, when you work, well, the, this W was horrible, but when you work, you just choose one direction and you take it. So basically you are eliminating potential around while play is, is the non-elimination of potential. So, you know, when, when someone tells you work and play becomes the same and this is like, yeah, but it's an iterative process. And iter iterative process is, is in circles in many occasions because you, you end up being in very similar points but in different levels of expansion. So, you, you know, you are like, okay, now I'm going to focus only on this. And then you are right here and you're like, okay, I can play again, I can do different things, but it's within a domain. So it becomes a fractal as well. This might be a bit complicated. I will make more videos, making more clear these concepts over here. But long story short, today I was able to heal big parts of my own recognition and rejection wounds. It's like, if, once you start living from abundance, rejection is ridiculous. Like in women, in money, in opportunities. It's like, brother, that is infinite. Like, and this happened with the Mind Valley as well. You know, like I was there in Mind Valley and then they told me like, 
hey, Carlos, you cannot do plane camp here, and I went like, fine. But, but that experience helped me to realize like how many things are out there that I don't know of, right? And it's infinite. And the same today with recognition was like, I don't need these people to clap me. I don't need these people to, to, to cheer me up or anything. Like, I, I understand fame as something useful. It's a tool. It's a, it's a mechanism of uh, communicating to a bigger audience. And money, very similarly, I'm not attached to, to money. For me, money is, is, is the energy that I can utilize to expand the impact of playing up. And yeah, that's basically it. It's, it's a tool, it's a channel. So, so if you have seen previous videos, I was speaking in some of them of, of you becoming a channel. So the energy can flow through. And, and we are speaking about this. When I have like this big chunk here, which is called recognition, and I say like, brother, maybe you don't need recognition. Let's take this shit out. Then the channel is flowing more freely. And when I don't have the fear of rejection, because it's like, brother, there is infinite amount and there is an abundance of possibilities, opportunities, women, money, clients, whatever, on this planet Earth. Then it's like, we take this out, we take this out, the energy flows. I hope this helps. Uh, if you need any help uh, understanding your own wounds, your own triggers, hit me up because I'm not going to do your therapy, but I'm going to link you with my therapist because I'm too focused on playing camp. But if I can recommend someone, it's my therapist. And the guy is amazing and the guy is lovely. So yeah, just hit me up, write a comment and I will link you. Okay, guys, I don't want to make money out of you. I'm just giving all of this for free so you can discover something new. And then my therapy can go through the work with you and help you out into understanding yourself a bit better. If you resonate with me, you're going to resonate with him more, maybe, because he's super good and super friendly. Uh, yeah, Much love, guys. I hope you enjoy. You learned something new today. See you in the next one.